Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve and graph addition and subtraction inequalities. We'll start with addition and then move on to subtraction. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations, opposite operations. So this is just like when we solve equations. Now, once we solve the inequality, we can graph the solutions, all of the values that make the inequality true. Let's jump into number one, where we have x plus 12 is greater than 18. So we need to isolate that variable of x. We are adding 12, so we need the inverse operation. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So subtract 12 from the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other in order to keep the inequality balanced. So subtract 12 from the right side as well. Now on the left side, these 12s cancel each other out. So x is now isolated. We have x is greater than, and then on the right side, 18 minus 12 gives us 6. So x is greater than six, that's our answer. So any value greater than six is a solution of this inequality. It will make it true. And now we can graph x is greater than six. So we're graphing all of the solutions here. And we can start with a number line. And we'll put six in the middle, and then a couple of numbers, on both sides of six. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Now remember, when it comes to graphing inequalities, a filled circle shows that we are including that number. And then an open circle shows that we are not including that number. So here, x is greater than six. We are not including six. Six is not greater than six. It's equal to six. So we're going to start at six and we need an open circle. Now we need to represent the greater than six part. So we need to draw an arrow pointing to the right, the direction of all of the values greater than six. So an arrow going right. And that's our graph. So any value greater than six is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. So X can be anything greater than six. Now, one last thing we can do here is check a solution to make sure we are correct. Now we can't check every value greater than six. So what we can do, we can check one value to see if it works. Let's use seven. So plug in seven for X here. So we have seven plus 12 is greater than 18. Seven plus 12 gives us 19. 19 is greater than 18, so this does work. We are correct. Our answer for number one, x is greater than six. Let's move on to number two, where we have a plus nine is less than or equal to negative three. So we need to undo that addition. The inverse operation is subtraction. So subtract nine from the left side. That means we need to subtract nine from the right side as well. As far as the left side, these nines cancel each other out. So we have a, a is now isolated, is less than or equal to, and then on the right side, negative three minus nine gives us negative 12. So a, is less than or equal to negative 12. And now we are ready to graph this. So start with a number line, and then we'll put negative 12 in the middle, and then a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have negative 14, negative 13, negative 12, negative 11, negative 10. Now a is less than or equal to negative 12. Negative 12 is a solution. It needs to be included. It makes the inequality true. So let's fill a circle at negative 12 to start. Now we need all of the values less than negative 12. So an arrow 
going left. And now that inequality is graphed. Our solutions are graphed. A can be equal to negative 12 or anything less than negative 12. Let's check a solution by plugging it in for A and see if it works. So we need anything less than or equal to negative 12. Let's use negative 14. So plug in negative 14 for A, negative 14 plus nine is less than or equal to negative three. Negative 14 plus nine gives us negative five. Negative five is less than or equal to negative three, so we are correct here. And we're also actually going to check negative 12 as well to make sure that works, since A can be equal to negative 12. And we will do this mentally, so plug in negative 12 for A. Negative 12 plus nine gives us negative three, and negative three is less than or equal to negative three. So negative 12 works as well. Our answer, A, is less than or equal to negative 12. So A can be anything less than or equal to negative 12. So there's our addition section. Let's move on to subtraction. So here are our subtraction examples. Let's jump into number one where we have g minus seven is less than or equal to two. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate that variable of g. Now we are subtracting seven, so we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition. So let's add seven to the left side of the inequality. Now, whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So add seven to the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these sevens cancel each other out. G is now isolated. So we have G is less than or equal to, and then on the right side, two plus seven, gives us nine. So G is less than or equal to nine. And that's our answer. So any value less than or equal to nine is a solution of this inequality. It will make the inequality true. Now we need to graph this inequality, all of the solutions. So we need to represent all of the values less than or equal to nine. So let's start with a number line here, and we'll put nine right here in the middle, and then a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So here, G is less than or equal to nine. Nine is included, so we need a closed circle at nine. Now we need to represent the less than part. So we need all the values less than nine. So we need an arrow going left towards all of the values less than nine. And that's our graph. That represents G is less than or equal to nine. The filled circle shows that we are including nine. Nine is a solution. It will make the inequality true. And then the arrow shows all of the values less than nine. Now, one last thing we can do here is check a solution to make sure we are correct, make sure it works. So we need any value less than or equal to nine. Let's try eight. So we need to plug in eight for G. So eight minus seven is less than or equal to two. Eight minus seven gives us one. One is less than or equal to two. So we are correct here. And let's actually check nine as well to make sure that works. Since G can be equal to nine and we will do this mentally. So plug in nine for G. Nine minus seven gives us two and two is less than or equal to two. So nine works as well. Our answer, G is less than or equal to nine. So G can be anything less than or equal to nine. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 15 is greater than Y minus 11. 
So we need to solve this. We need to isolate y. We are subtracting 11. So we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition. So add 11 to the right side. That means we need to add 11 to the left side as well. Now, as far as the right side, these 11s cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. We have y is less than, and then on the left side, negative 15 plus 11 gives us negative four. So y is less than negative four. So any value less than negative four is a solution of this inequality. It makes the inequality true. Now, one thing we can do here, we can rewrite this with the variable coming first. It makes it a little easier to work with. And all we need to do is flip it. So we have y, put the variable first, and then the inequality symbol needs to stay open towards negative four. Y needs to remain less than negative four. So be careful with the symbol whenever you rewrite an inequality with the variable coming first. So this is correct as well. Y is less than negative four. Either of those work, so something to keep in mind. Now we're ready to graph. So let's start with a number line and we have negative four. And then we can put a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two. So y is less than negative four. We are not including negative four. Negative four is not a solution here. So we need an open circle at negative four. Now y is less than negative four, so we need all of the values less than negative four. So our arrow is going to go left towards all of the values less than negative four. And that's our graph. Now let's check a solution by plugging it into the original inequality and seeing if it works. So we need any value less than negative four. Let's use negative five. So we have negative 15 is greater than, and then plug in negative five for y, so negative five minus 11. Negative five minus 11 gives us negative 16. So negative 15 is greater than negative 16, so that works. We are correct, y is less than negative four. That's our answer. So any value less than negative four is a solution. It will work as far as this inequality goes. So there you have it. There's how to solve and graph addition and subtraction inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.